kids learn it too. We're the ten tallest mountains on Earth today, formed by the collision of two continental plates. We're the ten tallest mountains on the Earth today. Let's take a look at our size as we get on our way. I'm Mount Everest, found in the Himalayas in China's Nepal, Tibet Autonomous Region today. At over 29,000 feet tall, bringing me into first place. As the tallest mountain in the world, let's get on with this race. I'm the K2 mountain, found in China and Pakistan. I've grown over 28,000 feet tall through all my lifespan. I'm King Chinjunga, located in India and Nepal. I'm third tallest, over 28,000 feet tall. Nam Latse in the Himalayas in Tibet and Nepal. At over 27,000 feet, I'm really tall. I'm Mount Makalu, also in Nepal and Tibet. I'm over 27,000 feet tall and happy we met. We're the 10 tallest mountains on Earth today, formed by the collision of two continental plates. We're the 10 tallest mountains on the Earth today. Let's take a look at our size as we get on our way. I'm Choyu, a mountain in Nepal and Tibet as well. Coming in sixth place with over 26,000 feet, how swell. My name's Dalagiri, I'm located in Nepal. Coming in at seventh, I'm over 26,000 feet high for you all. I'm Mount Manaslu, also located in Nepal, over 26,000 feet. I come in eighth place, cause I'm tall. I'm Nanga Parbat, located in Pakistan, over 26,000 feet, ninth place is where I stand. I'm Mount Annapurna, Nepal is my home, I'm 10th largest at over 26,000 feet to roam. We're the 10 tallest mountains on Earth today, formed by the collision of two continental plates. We're the 10 tallest mountains on the Earth today, let's take a look at our size as we get on our way. the deepest cave in the world it's in georgia the country the varavkina cave let's go spelunk and see if you travel to abkhazia georgia you'll find the varavkina cave if you're an explorer this cave is located in the gagra mountain range to find this cave's entrance an expedition must be arranged this cave is extremely dangerous and Chip 
Patrol Valley Wildlife Preserve, it's very well known. Around 210 million humans call this region home. This range supplies almost all of their water for these beings and life that's known. Hindu Kush Himalayas mountain range is about 500 miles long. And as much as 150 miles wide, you've learned in this song. Now, this is Mount Everest, the tallest mountain above sea level. It's part of the Tibetan Plateau. If you visit, you'll surely revel. Everest happens to be the tallest mountain above the level of the sea. If you submit, you'll climb 29,031 feet. The Tibetan Plateau is located in the country of Nepal and in the Tibetan Autonomous Region in China, I recall. The Tibetan Plateau is 1,600 miles in length with a width of 620 miles of life-giving strength. These are the mountains of Asia, the highest but not the driest mountains in the world you'll see. We supply fresh water to millions of humans and animals in Asia. We're part of life force energy. The Mariana Trench is the Earth's deepest place. We've explored less of it than we've explored space. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean located in the Western Pacific. It's 11 kilometers deep as shown. Around a thousand meters, which is very deep, starts the aphrodic zone. Sunlight cannot shine through so we can peak. But even in this dark and cold place, something amazing can be found. Life still thrives in this space. White sharks can be found just around 1,300 meters down. This is where leatherback turtles can also be found. The deeper we go down below our exploration, the stranger the life there does become. What you're seeing here is a vampire squid. It has spikes on the inside of his tentacles so predators can be rid. This is a chambered nautilus or a plural nautilus. It's been around since the dinosaurs with a hard outer shell I spy. Deep in the trench there is no sunlight but life gets creative. This one looks like a fright. This angler fish lures its food close with a dazzling light. What a clever fish and it has a strong bite. The Mariana Trench is the Earth's deepest place. We've explored less of it than we've explored space. These are the 10 largest rivers in the world by length. We'll show you each of their locations made by land carving strength. The first is an Isle River with 6,600 kilometers in length. Located in Eastern Africa. From south to north, it has strength. Number two is the Amazon River in South America with over 6,500 kilometers. It's glad to share with you. The Yangtze River is the longest river in Eurasia and third longest at 6,300 kilometers. You saw the Mississippi River is fourth in line at 6,275 kilometers. It shaped the U.S. in time. The Yenisei River is the fifth largest river shown at 5,500 kilometers in Russia it's grown at 5464 kilometers the Yellow River's in sixth place it's in China and needs lots of space the Obi Dish is the seventh longest river in Asia shown it is 5410 kilometers now you know in South Central South America the Piranha River comes in eighth it's 4880 kilometers long in strength and ninth longest the Africa's Congo River Right there, it's 4,700 kilometers I'd like to share. A Mer River in Asia comes in number 10. 4,480 kilometers of river that shapes and bends. These are the 10 largest rivers in the world by length. We'll show you each of their locations made by land carving strength. We're 
Tier 1 Global ocean broken up into 5 We cover 71% of the earth into this we will dive Pacific Atlantic Indian Arctic And Southern too Are the names of the oceans that cover your world in blue I'm the Pacific Ocean, the oldest ocean for what it's worth And I'm the largest and deepest ocean basin on the planet Earth I extend from the Arctic Ocean that sits in the Earth's north To the Southern or Antarctic Ocean in the south of course I'm bounded by the continents Asia and Australia in the west And to my east you see the Americas where they rest I'm separated into two parts of North and South Pacific by an imaginary line called the equator to be more specific I'm the Atlantic Ocean the second largest of Earth's ocean sea over 41 million square miles of area I guarantee the Arctic Oceans to my north and southern oceans to my south the Americas to my west and Europe and Africa to my east I tell I'm split into making the north and south Atlantic Ocean here by the equator running through me where this line appeared we're one global ocean broken up into five we cover 71% of the earth into this we will dive Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, and Southern too Are the names of the oceans that cover your world in blue I'm the Indian Ocean, the third largest ocean in the world That's me covering about 28 million square miles of area you see I touch Africa to my west and southern ocean To my South Asia is to my north and Australia is to my east with no doubt I'm the Arctic Ocean, the smallest of the five, don't you know? About 5.5 million square miles of ocean I show I border shorelines of North America and Eurasia too I'm the most shallow of the world's five major oceans, it's true I'm the Southern Ocean, also called the Antarctic Ocean Though 7.8 million square miles of area my ocean flows I surround Antarctica and I'm the newest ocean on Earth The year 2000, the IHO recognized me for what it's worth We're one global ocean broken up into five We cover 71% of the Earth into this we will dive Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic Arctic and Southern too Are the names of the oceans that cover your world in blue We're one global ocean broken up into five We cover 71% of the earth into this we will dive Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic and Southern too Are the names of the oceans that cover your world in blue Thanks for watching KLT, please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch.